Since the dawn of civilization, humanity has looked up at the night sky in wonder. Our ancestors saw the heavens as a celestial dome with the earth at its center. This is the story of how we journeyed from the earth centered universe to the sun centered system, a journey that revolutionized our understanding of cosmos. Tycho Brahe, the last of the great naked eye astronomers, amassed the most precise celestial observations of his time. Yet, he staunchly supported the geocentric model, placing Earth at the center of the universe. Enter Johannes Kepler, a young mathematician with radical ideas, who would become Brahe's assistant and eventually the architect of the heliocentric universe. The stage was set at Brahe's observatory, where Kepler, armed with curiosity and Brahe's extensive data, began his quest to unravel the secrets of the cosmos. Their collaboration was a clash of titans, Brahe, the meticulous observer, and Kepler, the mathematical genius. Despite their shared goals, their views on the cosmos were diametrically opposed. Brahe envisioned a hybrid model where Earth stood still and planets orbited the Sun, which in turn orbited Earth. Kepler, influenced by Copernicus, saw a different universe, a universe centered around the Sun. Kepler's breakthroughs came from his relentless analysis of Mars orbit. The traditional circular models failed to match Brahe's precise observations. Kepler proposed that if the orbits were ellipsed, not a perfect circle, the predictions matched the data flawlessly. Kepler's first law emerged from this realization. He demonstrated that planets move in elliptical orbit with the Sun at one focus. The mathematical derivation of this law was grounded in painstaking plotting the observed position of Mars against its predicted locations leading Kepler to an inevitable conclusion that the orbit was not a circle but an ellipse. As Kepler's laws began to take shape, a new vision of the cosmos emerged, one that placed the Sun, not Earth, at the center of the universe. Yet, Brahe remained unconvinced, unable to let go of the Earth's central position, this tension between mentor and protege underscore a pivotal moment in science, the painful yet inevitable transition from old belief to new truths. Kepler's law not only proved the heliocentric model but also laid the foundation for Newton's law of motion and universal gravitation. His journey from Brahe's assistant to the father of celestial mechanics is a testament to the power of data, observation, and the mathematical rigor in unlocking the universe's secrets. As we continue to explore the vastness of space, let us remember the lessons of Kepler and Brahe, that through collaboration, and the clash of ideas, we can uncover the fundamental truths of the universe.